Hey guys, and welcome to another episode on the Protect Young Eyes YouTube channel. My name is Dave Thompson, and as always, we understand that it is difficult to parent in the digital age, so our goal is to help you create a safer digital environment for your family. On today's episode, we are gonna be looking at the Squad app, what it is, what you need to know about it, and is it safe for your kid to use it? The Squad app is just a genius idea that a 14 year old named Emma came up with. Now Emma wanted a better way to hang out with her friends when she wasn't with them. And so she came up with the Squad app to kind of fill that void. Now, the main goal that Emma had in creating the Squad app was she wanted a way to be able to chat with her friends while they all kind of did the same thing, even if they were at different houses. And so the Squad app allows you to actually watch like your favorite YouTube videos with all of your friends and chat with each other and see them all at the same time. It's kind of a really neat and genius idea. It was also founded on the idea of having a social platform where you don't have to feel like you need to be made up. Like you could just kind of be yourself and just hang out and be comfortable with who you are and around the people that you want to be around. It's an app that gives you the ability to share your screen with up to nine different people in the room at the same time. Or you can scroll through the constantly changing list of party lines and jump into someone else's room who is streaming whatever it is they want to stream. Now the Squad app is a great example of a great and innocent idea being used in the wrong way because of really bad features. One example of this is how the Squad app gives you very little control over who is actually able to join your room to begin with. Once you start a room, any user who is not blocked is able to join your room whether or not they follow you or if you follow them. And Doug, the reviewer of this app, actually put it this way. He said the Squad app is kind of like having a slumber party, although you can't lock the front door and there's a giant sign that says, hey, come in, we're open. You can... Call the cops after someone shows up, but there's no way to actually prevent them from coming in to begin with. And at the same time, our test accounts discovered that this app is full of kids under the age of 10 using it, trying to meet new people. Second, the Squad app is an easy place to facilitate predatory activity. Even with our test accounts set to not being discoverable, it was within seconds of starting a party line that we had dozens of people we didn't know entering into our room requesting to be able to share their video with us. And this is dangerous because a lot of those strangers that were entering into our room were asking us personal information about ourselves, how old we were, where we lived. I know that you're not supposed to give personal information out to strangers on the internet, but do our kids know this? Finally, the Squad app has easy access to inappropriate content as long as someone is streaming that content. Every party line that you enter has a warning that says a moderator is watching to keep the room safe. Yet we found several rooms that were full of inappropriate content, such as topics about sex, and there was even one of someone masturbating, although you couldn't see the person, it was definitely the sound of it. The danger of this is it makes it very easy for our young kids to come across content that they're not quite ready to handle yet. Um, even if kids aren't going searching for this, this kind of content, in this app, it's very easy for them to stumble upon it. Because the app is ripe for predatory activity and because of how easy it is for kids to stumble across inappropriate content, we recommend that nobody under the age of 17 actually use this app, even though Apple says that it is rated 12 plus. And even then, you're gonna wanna cover a few things. First, you're gonna wanna make sure that your kid knows how to navigate stranger danger in the digital age. And if you want more information on that, please click the link in the description. But ultimately you wanna make sure that they know that they should not share personal information with anyone that they meet online. It's dangerous, or really it's best to avoid strangers at all cost. And in the Squad app, it makes it very difficult to do that. The second thing is this, you need to remind them that not everything disappears off of the internet. So they need to be careful with all of their actions and all of the words that they use in a streamed environment. For more information on how to create a safer digital environment for your family, please visit our website at protectyoungeyes.com. 
Com. And I hope that we are able to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not your kid should use the Squad app. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for joining us.